I used a 50 inch wide piece of fabric that I cut 10 inch long and on the one long side of it I folded over the edge twice about a quarter inch each time to make a nice um, finished edge for the top of the stockings. I used some vintage lace that I attached to that um, length of fabric on the right side of the fabric so the opposite of the folded side and pinned it on with dressmaker pins and just used my sewing machine with a small straight stitch and just sewed along it to attach the lace to that length of fabric and then I just cut that off and I um, folded the fabric in half so that there's a front and back to each stocking and I used my pattern that you can get on my blog and I'll um, give you a link at the bottom of this video um, and what I did is I cut out the pattern from freezer paper for each stocking I was going to make and ironed on the shiny side to the fabric and this made it easy for me to sew right along the edge of the pattern template um, so that I'm not guessing the shape or anything and I'm not leaving a seam allowance um, you know on the pattern but I am leaving a seam allowance on the fabric so that I have room to cut them out and they're not going into each other and the reason why I use so much fabric is because I made several at the same time and I thought that this would be a really nice project to send to people as a greeting instead of a card and then they can keep it as a keepsake and hang it on their tree if they wish um, and what you'll notice here is when I'm finished I'm tying the threads together at the edge so that the seams don't come apart and I just find it a little neater and nicer than sewing back and forth with my particular sewing machine. Um, I do like to use antique sewing machines with my sewing. It's, they're just so pretty to look at. Um, and anyway, so when I was done sewing around the stockings I used my pinking shears to cut around them to kind of neaten up the seam allowance and at the top I had a little trouble so I had to use my straight edge scissors because you know of all the folds it made it a little more difficult to use the pinking shears now I turned them right side out and I often use a chopstick just for a turning tool and there you have the sewn stocking and I have a lot of different stamps so I just used a variety of different small stamps um, to put on right below the lace and I, I did use um, an ink in sepia and then I had a um, French script um, stamp so I did you use that underneath the picture stamp for each stocking and going with the sepia look um, just gave it a more antique looking vintage feel which is what I was going for and I used uh, Ranger archival inks and I also had a greeting stamp to use for the back of the stocking so here I'm just showing you the process again with a second stocking and if you'll notice you know on the back of the stocking I'm pressing um, with my hand to get the stamp impression on and it's okay if you don't get everything absolutely clear because um, I was really kind of going for a vintage feel and the, a major thing if you're going to use the stamps like this and using such a light color like sepia um, you're going to really want to use a um, light colored very light colored fabric like an off white or a white when I was done in order to hang them up I threaded with a needle with a wide eye and this is a doll making needle that I had 
um, with one eighth inch wide um, ribbon. And this is vintage ribbon that I had on hand, but you can buy ribbon in a craft store that width and just use it. And then after threading it on, I just knotted it close to the stocking and at the end so that you could hang it up as an ornament. And I just used a little card that I cut out with a stamp cutter and just um, put a little greeting on it that I can send with the stocking. And since I'm sending it in the mail and I didn't want it to get ruined by any water or moisture that it might come across because I was just going to put them in an envelope, I used just plain old kitchen um, wax paper and just folded up um, the wax paper around the stocking so it also gives it kind of a nice little look when people opened it up from their envelopes and I just use a large envelope that I purchased and um, I hope you enjoyed this and thank you so much for watching my video